What's going on guys? Shane here. I'm here with my friend Khan and today we're talking about headbutts. Of course for the street, but also in MMA I'm going to give you ways that you can use it legally uh, for takedowns and exposing your opponent's face to land punches and elbows. All right. So the first thing I want you to know is when you're throwing headbutts, obviously you want to hit with the hard parts of your head. So about three inches above your eyebrows, the corners of your head, the top of your head, not the very center, but you do want the hard parts. So the surrounding areas, call it the crown of the head or anywhere where a crown would fit. Okay. So about where a hat would be. If I'm striking from a distance, I never want to rock into it because if I do and I come in, boom, I'm going to get caught with a punch, all right? Also, I could probably hit them with my eyebrow or my nose. Of course, we don't want to do that. We want to hit with the hard parts of our head against the soft parts of their face. So if we're doing it from a distance and we want to shoot in for a headbutt, first thing I recommend doing is trapping the hands. Palms on the hands. We saw George Foreman would do this in boxing all the time, right? So I trap the hands, I compress my head low, and then I shoot upwards into it. Boom. Okay, that's how I want you to throw headbutts. Not that movie style rocking into it. Instead, compress, trap, and shoot your head in. Okay? Once we're in, then we can clinch up. Now, this is where you can use it in MMA. So, if I'm clinched up, right, I throw the headbutt or whatever. I got him up against the cage. I'm working my knees. I'm working my shoulder thrust. My foot stomps. Another thing that I could do is grind my head, the top of my head, into the soft parts of his face. Naturally, he's going to want to turn and look away. And when he does, I can come over top with elbows. I can throw rabbit punches and stuff like that. Another thing that you can do to utilize your head as just another point of leverage is if I'm going in for a double or maybe I get a single leg, right, and I'm, I'm here, I want to use my head to drive up and over. All right, so one of the things here about this video, the takeaway is understanding that you should use your head. It's an extra limb. You have your arms, you have your legs, you have elbows, you have knees. But also, if I'm going in for a takedown, use your neck muscles, use your head to really drive and push in the direction that you want them to go. You'll notice a world of difference, all right? One last thing I want to cover too is defending against headbutts. Let's say we're in an argument or an altercation, we're this close to each other, which often happens in a street fight. I want to make sure that I'm ready to defend against a headbutt, right? If he's right here, I want to have my hands up and ready. This is non-threatening, call this the I don't want any trouble stance. But if you were to throw a headbutt from here, I could stop him by going hands on the shoulders or even on the head, boom, and just stop him from coming in, okay? So if you're ever in an altercation like that, be wary that people can use headbutts. You can use headbutts yourself, but again, don't rock into it. Use the, the hard parts of your head to the soft parts of their face. Until next time, be sure to subscribe so you can get the fight tips before your opponent does. I'm Shane, and this is Khan, self-defense for the underdogs. Boom! Oh!